my scrappy friends and welcome to my channel today. So this is a share for Spiegel Mom Scraps and I'm using this beautiful Carnation Bouquet um, Sequin Mix. I put a post up in the Spread the Sparkle group and this was the mix that was voted for. So um, being a boy mum and having two boys that I scrap more than anything else, I did struggle for a little while with what I was going to scrapbook. Uh, but I, as I was cleaning my craft room, I found some old photos that my nan had given me. And one of them uh, is one of myself from my first birthday, which I showed you right at the beginning. Uh, July is my birthday month as well. So I thought, hey, I might scrap um, this photo of me as a baby. I did uh, scan it first and turn it black and white because it looked um, old and yeah, it needed a little bit of improvement. I don't know how to improve it, so I just did the best I could and made a black and white, printed it out. Now, I've used a font in my cameo and cut the word first out of that um, pattern paper that I, with the cherries on it. I can't even remember where it is or anything. Uh, I, which brand it is, I'm so sorry, my brain is all over the place at the moment. Uh, if you've been following me on social media or anything, you will know, firstly, that I started a new job this week. And it is the first time since I had babies, um, since I have worked like a permanent part-time kind of job. I did five days this week. Uh, and then just to top things off, I seem to have picked up some, co some cold germs as well. Lucky me. So, um, yeah, I decided that I was going to make a shaker with these sequins. And I had one idea and then realized that using this particular font that I have used, it was going to be way too hard and it was not going to work. Uh, so I consulted with my husband, actually, and he went, what if you made like, um, he, he used different words, but he essentially said, what if you use like a shadow behind the word the fir first uh, and did the shaker there? So that's exactly what I'm working on. You saw me peel off my cutting mat, uh, the shadow layer, and then the actual word layer um, it will all make sense once you see it all together um, I was a biggest tip for that is to just go slowly I did use a brand almost brand new really sticky mat uh, but I'm glad I did because this is quite a fine cut file and I didn't want it to lift and tear as it was cutting I do only have one sheet of this pattern paper I have cut a piece of acetate to size to fit behind here and you saw too that I had cut the center out of a black and white uh, diagonal stripe pattern paper. Uh, I believe that one is from Photo, pa photo Play Paper. Uh, and I have stuck down my window to the back here. I've used a combination of the super sticky red tape from the store and my wet glue, which is the Scotch Tacky. And I've just gone um, and stuck that down. I'm now creating uh, the... the the part where my sequins are going to go. I'm using the big mama foam tape. Personally, I find it easier to cut off a long length than trying to work with the whole roll. I'm a bit of an unco, I'll be honest. Uh, and this just works better for me, cutting a long-ish piece and then doing exactly what I'm doing here or cutting into small strips. It's just what I'm using it for. I've gone all the way around that. You can see here now my shaker is coming together. I have added the foam tape all the way around that word. I have cut a piece that is going to be the backing for that shaker as well. Uh, and I have added foam tape to all of that and also to the outside edge of that, um, my background pattern paper. I also found some um, scrap cardstock to add to the center of that black pattern paper just so that this whole back panel had something to sit on. I've got my Scotch Tacky again and I am just going in and sticking down. So this was what I was originally going to make my shaker out of and it was not absolutely definitely not going to work. Uh, but I'm just using like I said my fine liner and I'm going around the edges and cleaning up any glue that oozes out. I'm super happy with how this turns out in the end. Uh, time to make my put my sequins in. I kind of did this a bit backwards. I meant to, I did mean to do this part, which is the antistatic powder. I was then going to peel off all of the backing and I got so carried away. I was so excited that I was almost done with the shaker pocket. 
that um, I just went ahead with sequins and then I was like, oh man, now I have to peel the backing off and hope these sequins don't jump out and move around all over the place. So I'm just making this reasonably full. Um, I Yeah, I don't, I want it to be fairly obvious that there's uh, sequins in this word. And yeah, so I'm just adding more sequins, making sure that I've got it fairly evenly spaced. And then I'm going to, I had the very fun job of peeling off all this backing tape. I've said it before, uh, you will probably need something to help lift off the tape here. So I've taken the tape off all the way around that, my shaker pocket. I've taken the backing off one edge of this foam tape on this. And you can see I've pulled, started to pull it off and like used it as a tab. Using my acrylic block here to smush that down, make sure it's nice and stuck and flat. I'm like, yes, it's working. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. So you can see I've just lifted those edges up. I've added some of the tear tape. And I'm just going to stick this down. So I get it into the place that I want it. And then I remove the tape, the, yeah, the tape stuff. And there is my giant shaker background. Uh, I felt like my shaker pocket was getting a bit lost here, so I've grabbed my um, artist pit pen. So these are India ink if you haven't used them, and so they go on everything. It does take a little while for it to dry, but I love it, and I love uh, it. Really does. I feel like it really makes this pop. So I've gone around uh, both the shadow layer and then around the word as well, and like I said, I really love how this looks. Here is the photo of me. Um, I've actually put together a kit that I was inspired by Chamel's Best of Both Worlds July kit after I bought lots of bits for the August kit. Uh, and so that's what I'm using here. I haven't done a flip through of what I've put together. Um, I can if you like, but be aware that I have already used some of the things. Just leave me a comment below. But I'm using some of the 3 by 4 cards here that I've popped in the kit to add a few layers behind my photo. Um, I've pulled pulled out a few of the 3 by 4 cards that I thought I might use. But I'm going to trim these down. And then I'm going to distress all the edges. And stick them all together. Which I don't make you watch because it's really not that exciting to watch. Uh, I've chucked a doily in there as well. And those, uh, the layers are not all perfectly straight. I have tilted them a little bit. Adding some foam behind my photo. Um, the reason, one of the big reasons that I'm using this tear tape is because um, I went to fill out my ATG the other day and I was just like, my brain hurts. This isn't, I'm just not going to. So I never got around to it. But the tear tape is... Uh, it does it does the same thing <laughs> so I'm just using that today I'll make sure I link it in the shop uh, and I'm also using some of the scotch tacky just to be doubly sure uh, I'm going my plan originally was to add the word birthday on the bottom edge of my photo but I just wasn't real happy with that by the time I got to this point so I'm going to add the word birthday to my back. So you can see, yeah, so I was going to add it to the photo and then I was like, nope, I'm just going to add it straight to my background. Uh, I was going to go with like all the um, the warmer colour tones, but they I felt like they really got lost. So I ended up going with like the yellows, the blues and the greens and I feel like they pop really well and I really like them. Uh, I did have this, um, I do have this Pink Fresh Studio puffy sticker sheet in here as well and I do add the happy but uh, it does come off spoiler alert I just feel like it was kind of floating all by itself off to the right left hand side there so it comes off uh, I have pulled for this kit from all kinds of different things I've got some Vicky Bruton stuff here I think this is from her first collection and her second collection I'm not 100% sure uh, I love those little paperclip things. I don't think I've actually used one as a paperclip though, funnily. Uh, you saw that I just chopped off the half of it and then you can see the other one that I've chopped off, that's where the florals were. Uh, 
but I'm just going to add in my layers here and I did muck around with this for ages trying to get the right placement and I do change things around and like I said I don't make you watch this but this is pretty much how it ends up uh, I'm going to trim around here because of the way it's tucked in and you can't see that it is a paper clip it just kind of looked funny that there was too much of the white there so I'm just trimming that off I'm like yep that's perfect and then I'm going to trim off the white border because there's so much white border on here uh, I thought that I had skipped this but obviously I have not at least it's pretty quick and easy right so off of the off of both of the flowers and I'm going to use a combination of my scotch tacky and also uh, the tabby pop dots those things are brilliant I love them I'm going to use this to add my date I'm just looking for that um, artist pit pen that I was using before and I go ahead and put the wrong date on there so I was born in 1980 I was not turning one in 1980 I do scribble over that, um, it's mostly covered in the, f uh, in the end page anyway by these florals and I am totally okay with that. I use my tweezers to stick this down because I did not want to smudge that ink before it dried so here I'm like you, you idiot. So uh, gluing everything down, this is where I'm like no nope, that can come off, I feel that just, uh, that just works better. And I tried a few different things and I just couldn't get anything to work. And I was like, you know what? I think I just need a little sprinkle of extra sequins because what baby girl doesn't need a sprinkle of um, pink sequins on a birthday, first birthday layout, right? So I'm just going to add those in there from the um, carnation bouquet mix as well. So, so pretty. Um, I found out from Jodie in our design team group the other day that the August... Uh, sequins are on our on their way very soon which is super exciting so uh, here is my code make sure you head over to the shop if you want to make any purchases you get 15% off using that code melinda15 uh, except for the pre-orders uh, here are the close-ups i hope that you've enjoyed this i hope that it's made sense i don't feel fantastic but here we are anyway um, i hope you're having a fantastic scrappy day and i look forward to my next share with you um, thanks for stopping by.